Daryl, Riverbank Zoo recently announcing an all-time attendance high of more than a million guests in the last year. With the growth of the zoo visitors, they're also seeing a growth in non-zoo visitors, which is why they're upping security on their property. Dustin Nettles uses the Saluda River to kayak all the time, but his path to that body of water near the Riverbank Zoo is about to get shut down. I think it's kind of unnecessary because um, it's going to make it really inconvenient for anybody trying to get out here and enjoy the river. The popularity of Riverbank Zoo and Garden has skyrocketed recently, drawing more adults and children than ever. And zoo officials want to make sure visitors are insulated from people who aren't in the area for the animals. They have plans to put up a fence blocking public access to the Saluda. Uh, unfortunately, over the last three years, um, uh, this end of our parking lot has become a very popular spot for people to park to access the river. Riverbank CEO Satch Krantz says there has been situations with people coming to use the river that could threaten the safety of zoo visitors and employees. Public drunkenness, public nudity, uh, fighting, and, and it's just it just seems to be spiraling out of control. And uh, this is our way of, of regaining control of that. Riverbanks has installed security cameras, increased patrol, and extended parking to other lots to help with safety concerns. This isn't sitting well with non-zoo visitors. A lot of people I know come down here, so you know, I always come down here and have a good time. And it's sad that I'm not going to be able to do that anymore. This is fun. I mean, people come down here, have fun, and, and, and to put up a fence where there's no access is just it's unjust. And that has people like Dustin Nettles reluctantly looking for a new place to hit the water. It's really hard to paddle upstream, especially up the rapids. So if you couldn't get out here and be able to walk up, then I don't really know if you would be able to kayak at all around here. Riverbank CEO says in the past month they've had two car accidents in the parking lot caused by impaired drivers. Luckily, no one was hurt and they took place after the zoo had closed for the day. They plan to begin building the fence at the end of the month. In the studio, Katie McKee, Watch Fox News.